The case study is an excellent example of how patient families get involved in service improvement. And they're really proud of what they've done. Not only has it helped them in their healing process, but it also helped others. At Mersey Care NHS Trust, family rooms have been set up to allow young carers to visit their parents in a calm environment, away from the mental health wards. Family contact is so important for everybody when they're in hospital. What we found was that on the wards, the environment wasn't appropriate for uh, children to visit their parents. Children as young as six months would have to visit on an open, acute ward, which are obviously, there were male and female wards, and young people would visit their parents or their siblings, grandparents, in an open area, such as this, which is the dining area, where everybody on the ward would, visit, would have their visitors. Well, the family room came about because we sat down with, with the Mental Health Trust with Mersey Care and actually said, what can we do together? And we said, let's look at a space because that's what children and their parents are telling us they want. So when we started to talk to the Trust and kind of set up meetings and kind of programmes of work, what, what children and young carers clearly didn't want and didn't feel comfortable with was sitting within those settings. So what we did was run parallel groups that was just for the young carers themselves, supported and facilitated by ourselves as staff within the Bernardo's team. And what we would do is allow the children to talk about their experiences and really gather that information, but be consistently feeding it back into, into Mersey Care as the Mental Health Trust. Five years ago, Lynn Parker and her daughters helped to create the first family room. When the mum breaks down, it's the whole family as well, and it takes time, you know, for everybody you know, to rebuild on that. And I think, you know, having the time in a hospital that the children get the chance as well to start healing. Mm -hmm. And we need that time together. So you could have some people who were quite quiet and quite settled and other people who were really quite chaotic. And I, some of the children actually found that quite threatening. I remember asking the staff at the time, you know, was there any way we could go just for like five minutes? And she always said there was no, you know, there was no way, there was no way at all for us. No really Just had to stay there with everybody else. We all sat around, we spoke about what we think young carers would need in the family room because the idea of the family room came about, then we decided what we'd need, you know, obviously basic things like couches, a few toys for younger children. They were involved every step of the way. And part of that involvement was to award what we call the Jelly Baby logo. Any family room that opens can't be approved for use until the young people from Bernardo's have actually been along, seen the final version and given it their seal of approval and then given us the permission to use the logo on that room. It was just a doodle, a Jelly Baby doodle, because there's so many different races and ages and types of families who are going to use these facilities. We didn't want to put a colour or anything to it. It's just basically a Jelly Baby logo to represent a family. What the family room allowed was some time out from all the things that were happening for those children and for the parents. It's good for staff morale as well because staff feel they're actually doing something positive in, in busy and difficult environments. They can offer something and it's good to give that to staff. It's benefited so many families and so many other people and that is what makes us happiest, exactly. that a few yeah. people speaking out and saying, well, hello, you know, we need time on our own as a family. We need somewhere we can go and sit and talk. And the fact that just a few people speaking out about that, it's helped a lot of people. Mersey Care themselves have now got 10 family rooms in development across the Trust, all at different parts of development, but the point is, is that they're based on some real robust evaluation. And what's important is that families say they make a difference to them. Mm -hmm.